Hey guys, Abby Johnson here. I saw an article in the Washington Examiner and I had not seen it before and I feel like maybe if I didn't see it, you didn't see it and we really, you really need to discuss this. So the title of the article um, was really interesting. It was talking about how the Colorado Sex Offender Management Board is actually changing uh, the title of sex offender. They're, they're not going to be calling people sex offenders anymore. They are instead going to be labeling them adults who commit sexual offenses. They're doing this because they feel like sex offender is too negative. Too negative. Sex offender is too negative. So they're, one of the reasons they're doing this is because they want to focus on people first language. Now, people first language is a good thing. If you don't know what that is, um, it's something that people focus on in conversation, um, particularly in, in the disability community. So uh, if someone is autistic, you would say, um, instead of saying a, a autistic boy or a Down syndrome girl, you would put the person before their disability. So you would say a girl with autism or a boy with Down syndrome because we are not our disability, right? Um, we are not our diagnosis. And so I like that idea. And so I've always practiced that since I, I took a special ed class in college back you know, 20 years ago, right? Um, so this has been around a long time, but being a sex offender is, not a diagnosis, okay? Being a sex offender is not a disability. Um, and, and so it should not be treated as such. But um, this Colorado board, sex offender management board, believes that uh, calling someone a sex offender is just too harsh. And uh, we're just really harsh in their mellow. And, um, and we need to tone it down. And we need to just be a little cooler and, and nicer with the sex offenders. And here, here's my thing. Here's my problem with this. My problem is that this really puts the focus on the offender. And it really takes away the fact that an, an egregious, heinous crime has been committed. And the crime that they committed was perpetuated on an innocent victim. And, and this really takes away from that. I mean, there are so many times where these victims are, are given so little justice, if any at all. And, and they want their offender, these, these victims, they want their offender to be, to be slapped with the title of sex offender. That's exactly what they want. I mean, the sex offender title is supposed to be a warning. It is supposed to be a warning to the community, to the public, to schools, to churches, to, to anybody, to let us know that at some point in time, this person was a dangerous, unsafe person. Now you may be redeemed by the grace of God. You may be a new person, a new creation in Christ. You may not be that person anymore, but you know what? Sometimes our, our earthly decisions have earthly consequences that will live with us for the rest of our earthly lives. So sometimes, and I, I live that, I live that myself as a former abortion director. You know, there are, are, I know that I'm forgiven in Christ. I know that, that God has forgiven me, but I still live with, with earthly consequences and will for the rest of my life because of the things that I have done in my past. And it's the same with the sex offender. You, you do these terrible things and you live with that for the rest of your life. And being a sex offender and having that label is one of those things as it should be and we should not water that down to make people feel better to make that more palatable for for the rest of society because being a sex offender and raping people and molesting people is not palatable by any sense by any stretch of the imagination it's just not the most interesting thing is that the Colorado Sex Offender Management Board is not changing their name because, you know, they'd have to change the branding and the acronym and their logo and all. And that would just be so uncomfortable and that would be such a struggle for them. And we don't want them to struggle. You know, we just want the victims of this injustice to struggle and have a hard time. But not this board. That would just be too tough.